Everybody's been saying that you're up to no good. Everyone has been telling me that you got me hood. You're playing it big time. You're feeding me lies. Everyone has been bugging me to sever the ties. But I would never, ever, ever would have believed them. No reason. Sometimes the truth is hard to see. But never, never, ever, ever seem to be over. I saw. So I'm happy I got freed. Lucky, lucky, lucky me. Uh -oh. Hey guys, what's up and welcome back. So today's video is another video in my spring cleaning series. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Today's video is a very gross basement deep clean, declutter and organize. We're going to jump right back into it and keep the music playing. If you're new here, what's up? My name is Jessa. I am a stay at home mom. I am almost 30 weeks pregnant and I have a seven year old daughter as well. So like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video let's keep the music playing and let's jump back into it It's hard to see, but never, never, ever, ever seem to be over. I saw, her. so I'm happy I got freed. Lucky, lucky, lucky me. Uh -oh. Lucky, lucky, lucky me. So I talked about this a little bit in my last video, but uh, I am just showing you guys the real mess. Um, I am pretty embarrassed of the space, but at the same time, like I said, I talked about it in my last video. I'm also pretty unapologetic about uh, just like how we've been living for the past seven to eight months. If you're new here, what's up? My name is Jessa. Like I said in the beginning of the video, uh, I actually was a working mom throughout this pregnancy and I am a freshly new <laughs> stay at home mom. Uh, but this pregnancy has been very, very difficult on me. I have been, um, or I was very, very sick for the first like four months of this pregnancy. And then in the second week of January, I actually got COVID, which just like completely wrecked me. Uh, my husband works from home full time, which is what you're seeing here. Like this is his workspace. Uh, and he has been incredibly busy throughout my pregnancy as well. Um, he's definitely worked way more than he needs to. <laughs> um, definitely some 50, 60 hour weeks that he's worked along with traveling and it has just been a real struggle. Um, and when I was filming this video, he came down to check on me and you'll see in just a moment how absolutely disgusting the space is with just cat fur and dirt and like cat litter everywhere and it's just so not okay. 
And I kind of la- I looked at him and I was like, this is depression. Like, this is what depression looks like. And we just kind of laughed for a minute, but neither one of us, like, like we both knew that I wasn't joking. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I know that those videos are really popular on YouTube of, like, cleaning through depression or cleaning a depressed person's house. And, like, I totally get it. Um, and I feel like I should name this video that as well. <laughs> Um, but yeah, like I said, I know that I don't ever need to make excuses. I have the most like wonderful, supportive community here on YouTube. But the reason I talk about these things is again, not to make excuses, but just if there's someone out there that's struggling or like going through a really hard season, particularly if you're ill or you have like a chronic disease where it affects like your physical abilities, like I totally understand and it's okay um, I, I think we all know that when we don't feel good mentally or physically, um, our environment reflects that and it's just, you know, it's okay. Um, and that's why those videos I think on YouTube are super popular of like cleaning a depressed person's home or something like that. Um, you know, the best thing that you can do for a depressed person is to go in and clean their space because it's such a vicious cycle that, you know, they're depressed, so they don't clean, but then their environment affects their mental state more. And honestly, I just think that this basement deep clean is kind of like a reflection of where Chris and I's headspace has been the past like six to eight months and how we've truly just been into survival mode and just like getting the bare minimum done. So needless to say, I was extremely happy to be filming this video. Uh, I'm definitely not 100%. This pregnancy is still kicking my butt. Uh, I'm dealing with a lot of uh, ligament pain and a lot of Braxton Hicks contractions, but I'm kind of just pushing through because I just love the end result and it just feels so good to be in a little bit of a better place and to clean my house and to feel good, like mentally. So I know that I started this video off on like kind of a somber, weird note, but uh, I really do appreciate all the love and the comments that I got on my last video. Like I said, I talked about it in my last video as well. And I just love you guys. And um, again, if you are out there struggling and going through a really hard season, like it is okay. We all go through hard seasons and like you'll figure it out. So let's keep the music playing. I'm going to finish Chris's desk um, and then we're actually going to move on into like our entertainment system where our TV is and stuff. I'm doing a lot of like cable management. I'm going to be pulling everything out uh, and giving it a really good thorough like vacuuming, dusting, you name it. <laughs>
So as I said, I am doing our inner kind of like our media stand, whatever you want to call it, TV stand. We recently got a new sound bar, which is what you see on the top, but we have an old surround sound system that needed to get pulled out. All those wires needed to get pulled out. Uh, and I am just freshening up the space. I am going to be end I am going to pull out that media stand or that TV stand. Um, and give it a really good vacuum, a really good dusting, wipe everything down, and it feels so good. So I hope you guys are enjoying so far. Let me know if you guys are cleaning alongside of me or if you're just watching to get motivated. Whatever you are doing is totally fine. I would just love to hear from you.
Never up, never down, never Like a flame in a song, clever Feeling high, feeling low at the same time Feel so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine But I get up, I always do I never think, I always do Never thought I wouldn't jump So after I tackled my fireplace, I am moving on into our little bookcase. The end goal is I eventually want to declutter this whole thing and like take all the books out. That's not what I'm doing in today's video, but that is the goal. Uh, in today's video, I'm just going to be doing some light dusting, taking all those books off the top, wiping everything down. Um, and then as well, like I said, uh, uh, wiping the, the ledge off like I've been doing throughout this video. Um, but you may see in my next couple videos that I am going to be tackling that bookcase a little bit more thoroughly uh, and just doing some serious decluttering for there. But for right now, I'm going to be tackling the bookcase and then I have a whole lot of laundry to fold. Whenever I'm with you, I am all right. There's something about the way you make me feel inside I'm counting down the days till we fly away Heading to the sun, only you and me I oh, don't wanna waste another day Being stuck here in this place No, I oh, wanna hold your hand in mine Watch the sunset in your eyes Baby, I wanna still act like we are 22 right now just let go, lose control, play songs on the radio too loud This could be magical Take a pick, baby, strike a pose I 
So now that the bookcase is done, I'm going to be giving this uh, space a good vacuuming and then I'm going to move on to all that laundry that you saw in the beginning of the video. That laundry is a mix of everything. It's a mix of maternity clothes that I need to go through. Uh, there were some of Evelyn's clothes that are too small that need to be sorted. Uh, and then there was just like regular laundry there. So I know um, laundry is very like hit or miss for people. Some people really enjoy watching me fold laundry and some people don't. So I included it at the end of this video just in case if you are not interested in folding laundry, you can just close out the video. But if you do want to watch, of course, you are more than welcome. I'd love to have you stay till the end of the video. Um, but yeah, I am going to be folding all of that laundry and sorting it and decluttering it and figuring out where what goes where. <laughs> So overall, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, the reason I essentially stopped filming on this day was one, because I had been filming for hours. Um, but also my camera SD card just like ran out of space. So I essentially have the entire second half of the basement to do, um, but I don't think it's enough for a full video. It's in a lot better shape than like I handled all of like the bigger tasks in today's video, which was like Chris's desk and the TV stand and stuff. Uh, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to finish my regular spring cleaning. Uh, my next video is going to be our playroom, which is very scary. So buckle up. <laughs> um, and then I have to do, I think I'm going to do like a full nursery um, video, like a full nursery setup where um, like nursery organization and stuff like that. But uh, I have a lot of like kind of miscellaneous spring cleaning that I still need to do. So I want to tackle like our closets. I still have some spring cleaning to do in our kitchen. And obviously I have the second half of the basement. So I think I'm just going to kind of combine all of those spaces into a couple separate videos. Uh, up until now, I've been doing spring cleaning based on rooms. So like it's been like my kitchen spring clean, my basement spring clean, my living room and dining room spring clean. But I think the next spring cleaning videos are just going to be like kind of like a hodgepodge of like all the like just random tasks like mashed together. Let me know if that works for you guys, but I think that's how I'm going to set it up. Uh, but it, like I said, as far as this video goes, I am going to be folding all of this laundry and sorting it, and then I will give you the final walkthrough. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm just going to let some music play for the rest of it. I love you from the bottom of my heart. I hope you guys are doing well, and I will see you next time. I just want to hold you. I just want to look into your eyes and tell you that I want you. You know you make me feel so alive. Can't stop thinking about you day and night. Love it when you kiss me. Love it when we touch. Every time I'm down, yeah, you make me smile. You're the solution.
just want to look into your eyes you know you make me feel like i'm alive you are With you I feel like breaking rules On the edge looking out with no parachute You know I'm dreaming about us too Playing around without a clue On the edge leaning out With us it's all or nothing Nothing.